hockey game, I, don't I would listen to, to what you have to say. It, it, it's not a sport. It's a demolition derby. It's not a sport. Derby. It's not a sport. <laughs> All right, you guys. Nothing like a little uh, difference of opinion between friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to this for a little difference of opinion. Here's something on your hero, Professor Hilton. Let me see that. Hold on. Complaints continue against philosophy professor Hilton, longtime chairman of the Freshman Great Books Program. Whoa, whoa, wait. Is he the guy that takes the books for the classes? Yes. He is reportedly against expanding the Great Books list to include more books by women and non-Western writers. Hilton's most memorable quote was... Oh, excuse me. Hilton's most memorable quote was, I'll be damned if I'm going to give up Homer so I can teach the hottest new epic poet of sub-Saharan Africa. It sounds like him. He's a great teacher. His scathing classroom right. style and opinions upset many students, especially women and minorities. Even hers cannot afford to have this reactionary fossil. I reckon it's great books program any that's longer. Bull. That's bull. That's a bunch of bull. Look, David, I know you like him, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't Look, know he challenges your mind and he makes you think. That's the point. Hmm? For you, that's the point. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, but if you were a woman or minority, you might not feel that way. Oh, so what are we saying, that Hilton's a racist or a, or no. a sexist? Well, well, I what? just I don't, don't get like it. what I hear, you know, especially all this stuff about Africa not having any poets. You know, that's just... not what he said. Well, th that's his attitude, though, Dave. Look, you, know? you can't tell me that Hilton treats minority students any different than he treats anybody else. No? Nope. Okay, fine. Absolutely right. not. It's just an equal opportunity offender, that's all. He's the best damn teacher on campus. That's what he is. Guys. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Should have stuck to the sports page, Wyatt. Yeah, I guess so. is teaching women to be submissive. I mean, what about the classic TV shows? Oh, right, the, the honeymooners. Pow to the moon, remember? What is that but wife beating? Hmm? Oh, and what about Bewitched? Yeah, you give Samantha all of these magical powers, and then Dara never even lets her use them. Like, except to, like, make a casserole. And what's that but to serve him? Right, exactly. You're pretty amazing on this stuff, you know? No, it's a seminar that's amazing. So, I'll see you next class. Wait. Do you have a partner for the oral presentation? I hope I do now. Great. Start work tomorrow night. I'll see you then. Girl, who's she? Rachel. Girl from women's studies. Working on a project together. Yes. She's cute. She's a person. Did you know? So you have your reading for Thursday. That's through page 300. And that's all I have to say at the moment about Plato's idea of the good. Uh, that cool your jets, people. I'm not letting you go early. There's something I wish to discuss. As most of you know, there was a, an editorial in the Beacon. Some remarkable charges were made against me. Racism, sexism, bullying my students. 
Well, I've never claimed perfection. Any of you have any complaints about the way I run this class? Now is your chance. Anyone? Hmm. No doubt it is easier to speak as an anonymous source to a sympathetic reporter. Oh, yes. Why don't you teach any women philosophers? Because there were no women philosophers in the classical period. Any decent history will tell you why women were not educated, women were oppressed. But isn't that what you're doing by not including them in your course? Well, what do you want me to do? Go back and whip up a female Aristotle out of thin air <laughs> just to please the feminists on campus? What about Sappho? Sappho was a poet, not a philosopher. You should know that if the high schools were teaching instead of trying to become more multicultural. <laughs> well, excuse wait, 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 me, wait, wait, sir, wait, sir, wait, excuse wait. me, please. Uh, but what is wrong with multicultural? Just that there's something higher, Mr. Hopkins, something above culture. There is such a thing as truth. Uh, but wh what defines truth? Europe, Plato, Western Europe? Of course not, Mr. Morrissey. Don't be sophomoric. You're not even a sophomore yet. Uh, but I don't understand. We are here as philosophers to debate the competing definitions of truth, not to study folklore. Oh, oh. oh you're going to hiss that, are you? If you want feel-good philosophy, if you want earth myths and political correctness, go somewhere else. But if you stay, I promise you I can make you think. Come on, hold it down. Let him speak. Let the guy speak. I understand. Just understand where I'm coming from. When, when I decided to come to Havenhurst, I mean, I knew I'd be one of a hundred or so black students on this campus, and there would be stuff I'd have to deal with. I don't have a problem with that, you know, because I taught myself how to just ignore the occasional ignorant remark mm -hmm. from a fraternity boy, Dirk. You understand what I'm saying? I know exactly. And I learned from my brothers which bars to stay away from. Which bars but, not to go into, which please, restaurants not to go into. But please, don't don't ask me to sit in a philosophy class and listen to a professor make racist this remarks. This is a class. Okay, okay. I mean, okay. Uh, which racist remarks? Well, well you, you learn to read between the lines. Yeah. Exactly. I, you, I can't right, he knows what exactly what he's saying. It's not what he says, it's the way he says it. Exactly. But, exactly but what, what does he say? Okay, the other day he said he wouldn't be able to call us freshmen anymore. He'd have to call us fresh yeah, what persons. That? What, is he, what, what, is that? what does he mean? Come on it's now. It's a joke. No, it's not. not, well, not well, the way he, said it. he openly said, you know, he's not here to teach us folklore. Just whose folklore is he talking about? Yeah, not his. Yeah, what is Plato anyway, if not white man's folklore? It's more than just. A few remarks. I mean, other professors yes. have told us stories. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, don't, I don't think I should say which professors. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you can tell me what you have heard. Well, I've heard he's definitely against the promotion of women. Well, that's definitely. Right. He's against mm -hmm. the teacher. And there's the way he antagonizes right, people in it. class. Oh, that I know about. Look, I had him as a teacher myself years ago. He made me just as angry as he makes you. <laughs> then you know how we feel. But when the administration tried to expel some of us after a demonstration, it was Professor Hilton who defended our right to be heard. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But so do you what? feel you owe him something? No, 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 no. You're that's not what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm just saying now he you know, has the right to be heard. So we. We have the right to be understood. He needs to be told. He needs to be told what you told me. You can count on me to do that. Morrissey. Morrissey. Dr. Hilton. I hope you're not intending to read all that in one night. Uh, no, sir. This is part of my work study. Then you're paid for it. Good. That's all your department stuff. They sent me over to Heaven's Xerox. Well, instead of copying maps to the department picnic, help me locate these books. Since they got rid of the card catalog, I can't find a thing. Give it a shot. Oh, thanks. You're talking to a mechanical nincompoop. Since my daughter left, I can't even turn on the VCR. Oh, you're just in the wrong directory here. There's no problem. There, there. That's it. <clears throat> Sir, I, j I just wanted to say, you know, about the uh, campus newspaper. I think enough has been said, don't you? I think you're a great teacher. I think you should write to the paper and, and defend yourself. I'll be damned if I do that. Become some old fart talking about how he marched in the civil rights movement. Now, what does that mean? 
Let's see. Professor Hilton. Yes? I'm Jeremy Orr. I'm in your great book session. Like Morrissey here. Does that mean they've been checked out? Yeah, afraid so, sir. Damn it. Well, let's try another directory. Here. I, um, I'm here to offer support. Support? I don't need support. Well, I, I think you do. See, uh, I'm a member of the Conservative Students' Union, and we think the uh, radicals are trying to get you removed as chairman of the Great Books Program. I'm not interested. Well, you know, they're handing out petitions outside. People are allowed to pass out petitions. Keep working, boy. Oh, sure. Well, I just want you to know that not everybody around here is a Marxist. You've read Marx. You're qualified to know what a Marxist is. Uh, no, I... I see. Uh, but we're on your side. You're not on my side. You think I believe all those things about women, and Asians, and blacks that are attributed to me, right? You want to use me. No, we came here to defend Go you. away and come back when you know what you're talking about. You try to make an issue of me again, I'll disgrace you publicly. Why are you grinning, Morrissey? Sir, if people just heard what you just said, they'd change their whole attitude. Enough. I don't need a PR agent. Just help me to find my books. Two copies on reserve, sir. Tell a friend or two. Thanks again. All right. Antonio. Oh. Is this the petition against Hilton? Yeah, it goes to the faculty center tomorrow night. I heard he called you a nurse sexist. Uh, that, that's not what he said. What he said was that at the end, if that happened to a woman, everyone say that was sexist. I, I was there, so were you. Right, I just heard it a little differently, that's all. I'll sign. Okay. 14, please, right there. Thanks. Explain to me how we can hear the same things and get something entirely different out of it. Uh, it's called we're different people. Yeah, I know, but that, that's not what I'm talking right. about. Right, you just asked me why we hear different, and that's the answer. Excuse me, sir, uh, could you please lend your support students against sex sexism and racism? I just, you know, I, I can't believe that you really think he's prejudiced. This place is supposed to stand for something, David. Yeah, it is. And if that's true, I mean, you know, we have a responsibility, and I just think your Professor Hilson is way out of line, that's all. That doesn't make him wrong, now, does it? But like you said, you know, we don't see it the same way. Who's here? Oh, hi. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Uh, I need to talk to you. I thought all the deans would be off power breakfasting this time in the morning. Well, they probably are, so don't tell anyone you saw me. No doubt you've seen I've become a bit of a campus celebrity myself. Well, yes, indeed. Well, don't look so worried. You're starting to take this job too seriously. I had a student delegation in my office yesterday. Oh, gee, I loathe jogging. What was that? A student delegation came to my office. Wanting to talk about me? Wanting to talk about you. I heard they were organizing. They say you intimidate them. They intimidate themselves. My job is to shake them up, challenge them. Work with you. But maybe with some of the others. They're crushed. It's their own fault. That's not what you really think. You just dare people to misunderstand you. You know that. Ah, you're trying to sensitize me, is that it? You want me to give my students full body hugs and... You are the finest teacher I ever had. And unless something has changed... Of course it's changed. Everything's changed. You'll find a message on your answering machine. I can't work any damn machine. About a meeting tomorrow to discuss your chairmanship on the Great Books Committee. Aha. Uh -huh. Who's going to be at the meeting? Kevin Wright. He's the new counsel for the college. And your philosophy, Chairman. Margaret Parsons must be licking her lips. And I'll be there, on your side. Suit yourself. But I won't draw in my horns, Jane, not ever. Take contemporary literature. Look at the words we use for making love. 
Yes. Um, the man takes the woman. He has her. Yeah. You know what I think this is about, Stroke? What? This is about the difference between the male and female orgasm. Okay, okay. Okay, um, go with that. Okay, um, look at one of the most feminine novels ever written, Pride and Prejudice. Okay. Okay. Um, the end of that book is like the female orgasm. Lots of highs, lots of lows, and no single clear resolution. Um, lots of potentially limitless climaxes. I got it! Instead of one big singular male explosion like at the end of, um, Moby Dick. Wow. <laughs> wow. I think we got something here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling weird? No, why would I be? No, I mean, you know, talking like this. Hmm? You feeling anything? And like talking about this stuff with with a man? With you? You with... mean alone and all? And then you do feel it. It's okay, Stroke. It is. Mm. I think it's just the material. You know, it's got us thinking about <sighs> sex. Rachel, I don't think I can do this. Why not? I don't want to objectify you like that. What are you talking about? I, I can't use you like that. I, I don't want to violate your personhood. What's the matter? Nothing. <laughs> this is weird. Rach, are you okay? Yeah, I I guess so. I'm... You don't want me to treat you like that, do you? I think I gotta go back to my room. See you, okay? Tomorrow, right? T I must admit, Professor Hilton, there are an awful lot of names on that petition. And what would you say these names mean, Mr. Wright? While you are one of our most distinguished faculty members, you have an uncanny gift for stirring up trouble. What exactly is Professor Hilton accused of? Oh, well, I don't mind answering that, since he's a member of my department. That's about all we have in common, He's accused Margaret. of racism and sexism in the classroom. If you were still my student, I'd ask you to define those terms. <laughs> I won't answer those charges. Don't ask me. Well, I have to, sir. That's my job. And I pity you. Uh, I don't think that any decision can be made about the future of Professor Hilton as chairman of Great Books until we decide exactly what he has or has uh, not done. Oh, oh, we all know what he has and has not no, done. I do not look, think we do look, all know. The point know. is that this is not the first semester. There have been complaints There about is another semester. matter that has come across my desk this afternoon. <laughs> Something rather disturbing. Apparently, when you were a graduate student at Harvard, you had an association with a man named Strozzi, also a philosopher, and later, a founding member of an extremist right-wing organization in Italy. I knew Strozzi. An anti-Semite and a fascist. And a fool. I tired of his company in about a month. 
and his views sickened me. Even so, it won't do us any good if it comes out that you were an associate. What are you saying? Well, I'm asking myself whether Havenhurst can have someone who is uh, associated with such a character as chairman of the Great Books program. This is guilt by association. It's outrageous and illegal. It's not a legal proceeding. The association was 30 years ago. The ugliness of this is fantastic. Yes, sir. But still, I can see the headlines now. I have no choice but to recommend that you be removed as chairman of Great Books. I've run Great Books for 20 years. Designed it myself. This is my life. What, what is this, right? What is Don't this? Apologize. I'm going to think things over. If I feel tomorrow as I do now, I'll resign. Not just from the committee, but from teaching, too. Looks like you might be getting an early Christmas present, Margaret. You know, I've uh, got another petition if you want to sign up. No, um, actually, I'd like to ask a question. Oh, well, sure. Uh, what can I do for you? Have you ever actually heard Hilton lecture? Well, I wouldn't be out here if I hadn't heard him for myself. <laughs> Good. Oh, well, no, I, actually, I, I have him about three times a week for philosophy. You me too. I guess we're in different sections. Excuse oh, me. Oh, sure. Th then you know where we're coming from on this, right? No, not exactly. Why don't you tell me? Well, I mean, the man talks as if, you know, the only books worth reading were written for white people. Uh, well, uh, white people. No, you exact. know, he doesn't make up the tradition. He just teaches it like he finds it. Right, he tells it like it is. As a matter of fact. You know, I don't think I'm signing. Hilton's the most exciting teacher I've ever well, had. Well, no, no, but I mean, if you want to argue about it. I only want to talk to people who agree with oh, you. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I said. All African American students should stand excuse, together on, on this. Can you just listen to what I said? Can, can you just listen to me, please? Ridiculous. Can you just listen to me? Hold on a minute. I, all I'm saying is, if, if you want to argue some more, why don't we just get together? You know, we'll, we'll do it right. Are you asking me out? Unless you only go out with people who agree with you. Antonio. Hopkins. Janet Keeler. I'm in Lathrop. What's the matter? Matter? Nothing's the matter. You just won, that's all. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Hilton. You threw in the towel. That's it. No more teaching, nothing. Bye bye, gone. No, no, no. Look, it's not we won. I mean, if that's the decision Hilton made, then. Hey, I just hope you're all satisfied, all of you. You lost a great teacher. Interrupting your dinner. No, oh, no, you're not interrupting anything. Come on in here and sit down. Sit down. Had dinner, boy. Uh, no, sir, but I'm fine, I'm thanks. Getting another plate. Sit down. But I'm fine. I'm warming up. 
Let me pour you a glass of wine. I'm glad you didn't come all this way to argue about Plato. I came here because I heard you were quitting. Who told you? Professor Parsons. Oh, of course. Probably celebrating. Tossing firecrackers off the roof of Wandsworth. Yeah, I hope you like lamb. Don't tell me you're one of those no red meat types. Uh, no, sir. Lamb's great. Lamb's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll turn down the Beethoven. You want me to get it? Uh, yeah. We're here? Yeah. Good to uh, see you enjoying yourself, sir. I know things have been kind of crazy. Man should never be separated from his Beethoven, ever. Remember that, boy. Yes, sir. My daughter. She's beautiful. You're probably wondering if there's a Mrs. Hilton. She left me 10 years ago to find herself. I told her that when she did, it probably wouldn't be the ninth wonder of the world. Have a seat. Well, Morrissey, say what you came here to say, and then we can enjoy our dinner. Sir, you can't leave. Why not? Because what would students like me do without you? Resigned already, practically a done deal. Sir, since the first day of school, you were telling us about intellectual bravery. I mean, how can you let a few letters to the school newspaper make you quit? I want to know what Parsons told you. Come on, what did she say? That you resign. What else? Parsons wouldn't stop there. That you blocked the promotion of a lady professor? On account that she couldn't write a sentence in English. Ridiculous. So are you going to answer that? You want to answer it, you answer it. Go ahead, answer it. Hello? What? Who is this? I've been getting these calls two or three times a week for over a month now. I offend people. I ask questions. They talk about diversity. They don't want diversity. One actual difference of opinion, they'd be terrified. I pity you. Why? Because you're the whipping boy. They never let you rest, David. Everybody's the victim but you. You better get used to walking about with an apology on your lips. I don't understand. You don't? I'll spell it out. You're a young, white, male, turn of the 21st century, and your time is past. I wouldn't be you for anything. What are you looking at me like that for? I gotta go. No, don't, please. Thank you for the wine. Hey, Joe. Yo. Yo, yourself. How was your date last night? Good, I'm proud of myself, I think. Good man, I think. Yeah, it was actually... Uh... A breakthrough, sort of. Meaning? Well, Rachel and I were working on our presentation together alone in my room. Right. We started talking about climaxes. Sounding good. And then she told me she wanted me. She made the pass? Sure. Way to go. Turned her down. Wait a minute. I didn't want to treat her like a sexual object. Didn't want to turn her into a thing. Stroke, the only way she wanted you to turn her was on. I know.
you remember why you told us you were taking this course? To meet women. Exactly. He had to hear the phone call to believe it. They threatened to burn down his house. They threatened his family. It's unbelievable. Huh? It's just unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got a daughter. And by the looks of the picture I saw, she looks like she's part Asian. Hmm. Never seems to mention that when he's accused of being a racist. Oh, Hilton's not going to defend himself. That's the whole point. But to hear the hatred in the voice on the phone. No wonder he's resigning. No. Nope. I think he's wrong to resign. What, you still think that he should be teaching him? I don't know. No, I'm confused. Well, wait a sec, David. Talk to me. It's just the things that he said when he got off the phone. Things? What things? Scared things. You know, I'd never heard him talk like that. You know, you think of Hilton, the whole thing with him is, is that he inspires you, you know? And to hear him talk about being a victim. Oh, wait a second. There's a man who just got a threatening phone call. He's just been forced out of position he had for 20 years, David. Did we switch positions here? Because last I remembered, you signed a petition to have him ousted. But you're the one I care about right now, not not Hilton. I mean, I just sit here listening to you make him out to be some kind of god. Just... I don't make him out to be a god, okay? I just think he's a really, really good teacher David. defending him. Nobody is above being scared. <sighs> you gotta stop looking for heroes, David. Do we look like we're busy? What's the matter? Women. I tell you I don't like the way the system runs, and I, I don't blame them. And then you don't take advantage of someone, and rather than respect you for it, I don't return your phone calls. We're talking about... Me. Someone I really like. She wanted to go to bed, and I turned her down. Because? Because he didn't want to take advantage of her. No. Yes? Yeah, too much respect for her as a person to take advantage of her. <laughs> yeah, but Stroke, if she wanted to, you wouldn't be taking advantage of her. I know, it's just I got so wrapped up in this women's study stuff that for a few critical moments, things stopped making sense. <coughs> Stroke. I don't think you understand. Look, I think it is really great that you're so interested in, in feminism. I mean, uh -huh. I mean, it's probably making you really sensitive to women in general. You know. I'm trying. But you're not being sensitive to this woman. Wait, who sent me? It means that you've got the green light. Now go for it. I wanted to talk to you about what happened the other night. Nothing happened. No, something happened. Stroke. It's just, um, Rachel, I got, so, I got so carried away with what we were talking about. I, I, I got so wrapped up and out there worrying about who was taking advantage of who that I just didn't see you there right in front of me wanting what I wanted. 
You all done? You said what you came here to say? Yeah, I think so. So, are, are we still working on this project together? Sure. There's only one thing, Stroke, about that night. Yeah. That was a one-time only offer. Really? Why? I just don't feel it anymore. We all clear on that? Yeah, we're, we're clear on that. Okay. Thanks. You know, I'm gonna fail this course. Why? Because I never understand women. <laughs> Give it time, Stroke. I appreciate your help, but I can take care of it myself. Sir, it's no problem. I don't have class till this afternoon. Um, so all these go too? The whole works, naturally. I carried on abominably last night. You were upset. You had a right. I was feeling sorry for myself. Vice of old age. Sir, it's not a problem, really. Except that I don't believe you. Don't become a cynic, David. So why would I become a cynic? Because that's what people do when someone they look up to turns out to have feet of clay. You're better than that. You give the benefit of the doubt. That's a great gift. Sir, can I say something? Yeah. Don't you become a cynic either. I mean, I think that the worst that would happen is if, you know, everything that's gone on around here turns you into just what your enemies say you are. What you heard from me last night, David, was pure bitterness. I, I understand. But isn't there something above what we're feeling? I mean, like you said in class, there's such a thing as the truth. Look, I've learned a lot from you. I'll never forget it. All right, Morrissey, you've said enough. Yes, sir. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that was great. You were right. It was a lot of fun. OK, it's your turn. Okay, I used to do this outside my grandfather's house. He had big old trees on his lawn like these. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, your grandfather, wait, hold on. Yeah. Your grandfather had a house with a lawn? Mm -hmm. huh. What are we talking about? It's a real small town in Connecticut. Bell Buckle. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard of it. Uh-huh. You've heard of Bell Buckle? Yeah, I heard of Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's funny. I didn't miss being home until this afternoon. Well, now I make you homesick. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you make me feel like myself. Kind of. Let's see here. <laughs> you're in Lathrop, where the minority population is pretty I'm much... I'm the uh... one and only person of color. <laughs> oh. I had a lot of practice, though. Girl school I went to was about the same. Uh, not me. I mean, I didn't have a friend that was white until I came here. And it's, uh, not that easy. Yeah. Having a friend is hard, period. But worth the trouble. Definitely worth the trouble. Definitely. <laughs> You're gonna do that. Come 
morning. You can all see this? Yeah. Good. Let it burn into your memories, because it's utterly false. I'm not leaving Havenhurst. I, I know that'll disappoint some of you, but uh, you'll recover. It is true, however, that I shall be vacating my position as head of the freshman great books program. Yesterday was not the easiest day of my career. It occurred to me that perhaps it would be best if I left Havenhurst altogether. But events have helped to show me things in a rather different light. Even reconsider my recent behavior in this room. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not recanting. But for those of you who have felt intimidated, insulted, subtly attacked, I wish to say that I am sorry. That was not my intention. I want to make a pact with you. The one rule in here from now on, nobody folds. Let it be no holds barred. I want you to come at me, and I will come at you. Let the past argue with the future. That is the process. That has always been the process. Can you buy it? This is all I have to offer. about me, someone rather more interesting and even more of a danger to the social order, is Rousseau. Come in. What's up? Um, what Hilton said in class today. What about it? I, I saw you not buying it, you know. I still Wait, don't just, think just you... let me say this, all right? I'll... Buy it, don't buy it, you know, I don't care. All I care about is that you and I are in the outs about something this important. I don't like it. All right, neither do I. The thing is, we're still going to disagree. You know, Hilton's still got to prove to me that he means what he says. That he's just not using this great book's tradition as one more way to keep us down. Fair enough. You, you see, people do that, David. Let him teach. Frankly, I, I, I don't care. You know, let, let him do his thing, but you know what I want. No, what do you want? I just want to hear other voices up there, David. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear you. Just I other do. voices. That's all. I... Just other voices. In the meantime, we've got to live with it. There are always going to be some things we look at differently. Doesn't mean we're not friends. Because we are friends. Okay. Hey. Some things you know you'll never forget. As soon as they happen, you know the memory will always be there. Like today, the day I learned to stop looking for heroes, to look to myself for the truth, which is what Professor Hilton has been teaching us all along.
Homer Simpson never had much of a head for business, but this Thursday, he's elected boss of the union. Will Homer play hardball with management, or has Mr. Burns found the perfect stooge? Don't! Find out on an all-new Simpsons. Now, stay tuned for an all-new Key West, next.